So I thought I would show you guys how I'm getting around. This is the iWalk 3.0. I had surgery six days ago. Um, I was actually using it by day three all the time. Um, is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. Is it better than a knee scooter? Absolutely, because I can walk up and down steps with it, which is amazing to me. Um, also, I can walk without holding on to anything, um, which is good because I can make my own dinner and bring it to the table if necessary, you know? Um, the pros far outweigh the cons. The biggest problem that I see with it is the fact that my knee will go to sleep and so will my foot back here if I use it too much. You gotta try to remember to put your weight on the actual crutch versus, or I walk, whatever they call it, versus your hip. I've been putting way too much stress on this hip and it's, it's showing. But for the most part, I say it is worth the, absolutely worth the money. I couldn't find anything else that worked better. This will get you from point A to point B. In other words, if you want to go outside and get um, go down a couple of steps, you can do that. Can you walk in and out of steps all day long, up and down steps? No, that's not what it's for. Um, but I tell you what, it's a vast improvement to running around on a knee scooter, which you can't even do a step with. So I'm impressed, and again, this is, at the this is not a commercial, I'm um, real. Um, this is the iWalk 3.0, and um, I mean, it fits well. I've adjusted it to the best part, to the best of my ability. I don't think I'll get anything more if I change it. I've, I've tried the several door. ways of changing it, but I think this is it. This is how I'm going to have to use it. And to be honest with you, I'm very thankful. If you, oh, by the way, today I did, I swept the floor and I mopped it on this. And I took breaks in between because it's still a lot for your body to adjust to. Um, anyway, you should try it. It's the heck out of the knee scoop.